Hi guys, happy December and welcome back to my channel, it's Grammar Lesson Heels. Today I would like to share two things with you. First of all, I would like to share with you a little gift that I got for myself from the Moinat's holiday collection. And the second part of the video, I will be sharing with you my SLG collection. There are a couple of card holders in there and all of them are of different styles. So if you're not looking for a card holder, I hope that this would serve as a useful review and comparison. So first off, let's start with the Moinat unboxing. Let me first show you the item and then I'll share with you my thoughts and why I got this. So it comes in a dust bag like this and I got myself the Moinat Old Toad Pouch. I love the brand Moinat. It definitely ranks up there in terms of craftsmanship and leather quality. I have both the Moinat Rajan and the Moinat Gabby and those two are definitely some of my favorite bags. In one of my previous videos, I shared about the different monogram patterns from the four French brands Goyard, Moinat, Foy Le Page, and Audipart. And for monogram canvas, I think that Moinat's one definitely ranks the lowest on my list. I feel that the monogram is a little bit dull and old-fashioned and a little bit mature. But when I saw the holiday collection, it really made my heart sing. I do think that the dull monogram of Moinat's print works well for this bag because it really makes the design pop. There were two versions available, one in the cooler tone silvery blue and the second version which is the one that I picked up is the one that is a little bit orangey. I was debating between both versions but in the end I ended up with this one because I really like the little contrast of the orange. So the pouch is quite structured, it has a base which cannot be folded so this may be a pro or a con depending on how you would like to use the pouch. It comes with a top zip and it's one big compartment in the inside. On the inside, it's leather lined. It's in an orange leather which is Moinat's classic colour. And the inner lining is made up of 60% goat leather and 40% calf leather. So it feels extremely luxurious and I really like having a leather lined pouch because it doesn't stain that easily and the bright orange also makes it easy for you to look for your items. I do wish that there could be an inner pocket of some sort for me to store the authenticity card so that I don't lose it that easily. But yes, this is just a little downside of the pouch. For me, this is a grab and go pouch. I don't think I will use it as a carry all in my tote because the base is structured and it's not foldable and I don't want to destroy this. This is probably a bag that I will use for events, for dinners, or really just as a grab and go. I thought that this would be something different and fun to add to my collection. Now to the second part of my video, I'll be showing you my SLG collection. I don't have a whole lot, I have six pieces to show you. And how I've arranged them is from the least used to the most used. So on the far left, you would see the Loewe card holder. I have the Hermes Bestia pouch, so both of them are in gold in Hermes terms or in camel. And then in the middle is the Fori Le Page bifold card holder. So this one I've used it decently and on the far right are the three items that I've been using on an almost a daily basis. So on the top you have the Fori Le Page pochette and that's in the size 29 centimeters. Then we have the Chanel card holder and at the bottom we have the Goyard Metanon wallet which I got last year. I would first review the Hermes Bestia pouch and the Fori Le Page pochette because those are the most different and then I'll do a review of the four card holders. So the very first item is the Hermes Bestia pouch. This is in the colour gold which is the famous Hermes colour and if you know what leather this is, let me know down in the comments below because I have no idea but I remember the SA told me that it's quite special. I bought this in Cannes in France when I was travelling six years ago. Everyone raves about the Bestia but I honestly do not use it that much. In the past, I used to store my coins in here but most cities that I go to are increasingly becoming cashless and even the ones that still use cash like Japan, um, it's not big enough to store all my coins in them. I also used to use the Bestia pouch to put my jewellery like my necklaces but the downside is when I'm travelling and if I'm bringing two or three necklaces and earrings, I can't put them all in here because they will scratch against one another and the necklaces also tend to tangle up. So this is fairly underused in my wardrobe. If you're interested in buying this, drop me an email, I might actually let this go. The second item is the Fori Le Page pochette and this is in the size 29. Fori Le Page pouches come in four different sizes, the 19, 29, 33 and 37. So this is the 29 which is the second smallest size 
and this has been a staple in my daily life ever since I got it. I bought it for 290 euros um, from Paris and I think the prices have gone up quite a lot and I do not regret getting this one bit. I've used it every single day. I bought the extra tassel to add a little bit of interest to this and I love that it comes with this leather strap at the side because you can sling it around your wrist to carry along so you don't always have to carry it like that. If you know Fauri Lepage canvas is super scratch resistant, your fingerprints do not get on it at all and it's just so durable. This is permanently in my work tote. I use this as a catch-all to put my wires to charge my phone, my airport, and even my card holder. I also bring this along with me when I travel, so it's really dual purpose. In the day, it acts as a catch-all in my tote, and when I'm going out at night, I just bring this along with me as a clutch. On the inside is fabric lined, so unlike the Moynard's pouch where it's leather lined, this is fabric lined, it's in black. If it gets dirty, you can actually see the stains. I've had no issues with it so far, it doesn't tear and it's very durable. This pouch is more than six years old and it's been holding up very well. If you're on the lookout for a pochette, I highly, highly recommend the Fauri La Page one. Now that I've talked about the Hermes Bestier and the Fauri La Page pochette, I'll then move on to the card holders. You'll see that I have four different card holders here and they're all of differing styles. The very first one is the Loewe card holder and this card holder is 16 years old. I first got it in Madrid when I was traveling with my family when I was a teenager. If you watched my Loewe bag restoration video, you would know that my mom only carries things that are very classic and minimal and Loewe was a brand that she was familiar with because my dad bought her two handbags and she really loves the brand. At the time, Loewe was really low-key, it's not as hyped up as it is today and I must say that Loewe has one of the best qualities of leather and customer service. They also have the best shade of camel or brown. It's very simple, it just has one compartment and you can fit about 3-4 to four credit cards in here. I used to use this card holder to put my name cards but I haven't used it in recent years. The next item is the Fauri Le Page Bifold Wallet. There are 8 credit card slots inside. I primarily use this as a travel wallet because it fits a lot. I really like the inner pockets where I can stuff my receipts and the big pocket up here where I can put my cash inside. So Fauri Le Page, as I talked about, the canvas is super durable and I really love that it's leather lined inside. I guess the only downside of this is that if you're carrying mini bags and if you stuff the wallet to its brim, it can get quite bulky. I use this primarily for travel and not so much on a day-to-day -day basis. The third card holder is a Chanel card holder and again, you'll see that this is a different style. I have it in the caviar leather with the gold hardware. So how it looks like is that there are two compartments. There is a smaller flap here and there's a bigger main compartment here. It holds a lot. I think I can fit in about 15 to 20 cards. This card holder is the old version where the flap is a straight line. If you look at the newer Chanel card holders, you will see that the flap has a curve with the CC logo. I do prefer the old design. To me, it's a lot more minimalistic and classic. What I've seen some people do is that they have purchased a chain and they have used this as a mini bag to wear it cross body. As you know, the extra mini bags from Chanel has become really popular in recent times, but the prices are just exorbitant. So this is a good way to transform it into a mini bag. I highly recommend this. I think it's going for about 500 US dollars, but I still think that it's worth it, especially if you're looking for an evergreen card holder which can also double up as a mini mini bag. This card holder means a lot to me because my husband got it for me as a birthday gift the year we got married. I also consider it my lucky charm. I've lost this wallet twice in London and both times I got it back. So yes. Every last item is the Goyard Metanon Zip Around Wallet. I got this last year for Christmas, so I've been using this for a year. I replaced my Chanel card holder given that this has been a workhorse for the last seven years. Honestly, I love it. 
I was initially hesitant because some of my friends mentioned that the zip can get stuck sometimes but I have no issue with my Goyard one, the zip is very smooth. So how it looks like on the inside is that there is a single flap here which I hardly use and there is a main compartment where you can put a lot of things. What I like about the zip around style is that it's very compact, it keeps everything inside and I can also put a few coins inside. It fits a lot and at the same time it can fit into all my mini bags. So I have no complaints, I've only used this for a year versus my Chanel flap which I've used for 7 years but I think both styles work really well for me and if I had to pick a card holder all over again, it, it would be either of these two styles, either a simple flap like this or a zip around style. They are both compact and I think they are excellent choices. So that brings me to the end of the video. Let me know what card holder you are using and what are some of your favorites. I would love to hear from you all. Thank you all for watching and see you guys in my next video. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Goodbye.